a resident of Sudza region of Russia decided to go to the city center to scout out the situation on the spot and understand what army is in the village. Later, he recorded a video message in which he shared new information. The video was posted on his Telegram channel page by Anton Gerashchenko. The man admitted that there was no particular damage in the city center, but the prosecutor's office building was badly damaged. The Ukrainian flag was hanging over Sudza. Ukrainian defenders forbade him from taking photos or videos. The residents' documents were also checked. Everything went without rudeness. There are a lot of military personnel and equipment in the city, a local resident admitted. Also, Ukrainian defenders recommended that all residents of Kursk region start preparing for the referendum now and actively learn the Ukrainian anthem. A resident of Sudza admitted that he no longer cares what flag he lives under as long as there is no war. At the end of the video, he admitted that if Putin cannot protect the citizens of his country, then maybe the Ukrainian armed forces will protect them. Recall Ukraine's surprise incursion into Russia's Kursk region continues. A report from one Russian military blogger suggested Ukrainian forces had advanced northwards, possibly as far as 15 kilometers from the border, along a highway north of the border village of Sverdlikovo and near a major natural gas transmission hub, but this could not be verified. The main operational gas pipeline into Europe runs near Sudza, where a metering station monitors the reduced Russian supplies to countries such as Austria and Hungary. Ukraine has allowed gas to continue flowing through the pipeline as part of a contract that expires at the end of 2024. Other online speculation suggested that a target of the incursion could be the Kursk nuclear power plant, but the facility is 35 miles from the border and a long way from what a force of several hundred or thousand would be capable of.